Hi there everybody, it's Ken here again from Ken's Christmas Village and I wanted to give you an update on the market stalls that I had fitted lights into earlier in the year. Uh, some of you may recall that the original uh, Limax market stalls came with battery fittings uh, and they weren't, you couldn't connect them also to mains like you can with the newer versions that are on sale now. And I showed you how to convert these so you could plug them into a Limax adapter and they would work with a lighting. Okay, now what I have since discovered, uh, because I've now completed my village and got it in place, uh, now I've used it for a week or so, I have found that occasionally um, some of the LEDs in the original market stalls, once they're connected to 4.5 volts via a mains adapter, will either go dim or burn out completely. Now, I had assumed that because the new market stalls that have a mains connector and a battery on, uh, because they worked off both supplies, I had assumed that the LEDs were capable of taking either 4.5 or 3 volts. Uh, that is obviously wrong, and the, some of the original ones don't have an LED that will cope with 4.5 volts on a long-term basis. Okay, so what do you do? It's very, very simple. All you need to do with uh, a market stall that the LED is burnt out from is strip out the original LED. Now you will find that the original LED is stuck along the roof. It seemed like a brown strip. You can prise off the end of it with a little screwdriver and peel it back. And then you can, if you disconnect the wires on the other end that you've connected to a, like a socket that I put on this one, if you disconnect those, you'll be able to pull it out through the front. You've then left with the choice of using two sorts of LEDs. I'm gonna explain the difference between the LEDs and then show you the different effects. You've got the original tiny micro ones that we got, uh, that I used in um, some of the trucks that I fitted a light in. Or you can use these ones, which come on little self-adhesive strips. They come in um, longer strips with four, I think you can also get them with six or two. In fact, what I do when I, uh, in the store that I'm gonna show you in a moment, I've cut this in half. If I hold this close, you will see there's a little line along there where the copper joint is. You can cut through that and then just have a strip that's got one light. So you just stick one little light up into the roof. These are very, very easy to fix. It's very simple. What you need to do is strip out the original um, LED from the building. You may find that down the back of the building, you've got a little white strip a little plastic strip like that. All you need to do is prise that off with a little screwdriver. Sometimes you need to score down the edge of it just to release the adhesive. Uh, they normally come off very, very simply. Uh, if they break, it doesn't matter because you will see that I've not put mine back. It doesn't need to. But what that will give you access to is the wiring that runs down inside the channel. That will enable you to strip out the original LED and then you can put your new one back in. Now, depending on which one you choose to use, either this one or the very small minute one, the minute one you can poke in through the hole at the back where the original wiring came through, and you will find that that fits through it quite easily. And then all you do is stick this to the roof of your uh, hut with a little sticky bud. You've probably seen some of these little sticky circular, you can probably just see those little circular buds that you can buy for sticking balloons together and, and other crafty things. You can just put one of those on it and push it up into the roof. Or with these, as I said, you can use one of these and it will self-adhesive stick to the roof. Now with these, because they've got this black piece here where the wires are soldered to the end of the strip, you will need to push this in from the front. Now, if the hole that the original LED wire went through isn't quite big enough, use one of these sort of things, I think it's called a bradle, or a little spiky thing, just to push in the hole and spin it around just to make that hole slightly wider. You don't normally need to use a drill. I've not used a drill on any mine. I've just gone in with one of these, run it around a little bit, it opens up the hole just enough for you to poke the wire on the end of the LED which is these wires, you can just poke these from the front back through to the back and then connect up at the end. Very easy to do, very simple to fit. And then all I've done at the back is I've used some gaffer tape down there 
to cover where this original little plastic strip went because I kind of think uh, no one sees the back, the plastic strip's not gonna be visible and I might wanna gain access again in the future to fit another light. Now, what I'm gonna do is show you the difference between the uh, these LEDs and the smaller LEDs, so I'm gonna plug them both in. Okay, so that, as you can see, is one of the larger, you'll see the square LEDs. It's slightly off center in the ceiling, and that's because where the original LED stripped out, it left a little strip of sticky stuff that the new one wouldn't stick to. So it's just off center, you can see there. And when I plug it in, you can see how it lights up. Now that, being off center, you never notice that when it's when the marketplace is in, in situ in your village. Okay, that one is a white uh, LED. Now this other market stalk here, and this one has been fitted with one of these tiny ones. And this, as you can see, is a warm white, slightly different color of light. Technically it's called temperature of light. Why, well, I don't know. But anyway, and you can see they're slightly different lights. Now I, personally, I like that because I know that uh, having, I've got a family in Germany, so we visit these types of markets regularly every Christmas. And the lighting in the stores varies tremendously because some of them use, um, really bright lights, some of you can use dimmer lights. So the fact that there's a variety in the lighting between my market stalls, I actually prefer. You might want to choose all warm, all cool, whichever, it doesn't matter. That's the small tiny LED. If I unplug that, so you can see it better. Can you see there how the little LED is just stuck to the ceiling with a tiny little sticky dot? Very, very easy to fit. Then it comes out the back and goes back into the socket that I've fitted on the back. So that, I just thought I'd give you an update on that in case any of you have got market stalls that are, are now kind of uh, not functioning and you're swearing at me and saying, Ken told me to do this. I figured out why, just by the new LEDs. As I said, you can get from small scale lights. I'll put the link below. And then get your market stalls up and running to enjoy for the festive season. Anyway, I hope your markets are all going well and you're getting great pleasure out of them. Um, so happy villaging to you all and see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.